Hi, this is Jorik, and I'm going to be showing you how to dice stack. The first thing you need is the equipment. It's not rocket science. You need dice and a cup. Now you want a cup kind of like this. Not very uh, heavy slopes. You want a steep slope. And this is one of my preferred grips, though I have a couple of them, and it, there's really no right or wrong way to grip it. You want a cup with few internal interruptions, or none, because you don't want them rattling around. And you want big, heavy, uh, flat dice, like these. Uh, you don't want rounded corners or anything, because they don't stack as well. They do work, but these work best, especially for down stacking and stuff like that. Now here's how it works, and I'm going to start off without, you know, a lot of uh, fancy terms. You basically, you just pick up one die, you pick up another die pretty soon after, and you pick up another one. But you see, this works uh, quite simply with inertia. That's how they stay in the cup without uh, the cup being right side up. So, uh, here comes a pop physics lesson. Inertia is the property of matter by which it retains its state of rest or velocity in a straight line as long as it's not interrupted by an outside force. So, if this cup is moving, the dice would be moving this way, and at the end it would be exerting force this way, which keeps the dice up you want your motion kind of like a metronome. That way it keeps it at maximum efficiency. You just want to imagine, like in this diagram, a point of center. You don't want them rattling around back and forth, you want them to be sliding along the front. So you want to tilt it forward so that it looks kind of like this inside. You won't be able to see this, but you'll be able to feel it. Once you get better, you can do things like this, a quick flick of the wrist. But this just takes practice. Also, the uh, alternating swipe. Now you might want to know a little more about the landing. You want to just come in at about 5 degrees and stop short. You might want to swing your cup around a little to stabilize them first, but you definitely want to stop short. Now this is called a point stop. It's really impossible to do unless you have pretty heavy dice. Casino dice always work best, but you really need experience above all else. Now remember, the most important thing about starting dice stacking is to lock yourself up in your room and practice until you've got it. Uh, it took me about two hours of persistent attempts to get the landing right. The landing is not easy. Uh, it'll take a lot of failed attempts. But remember, it can be done with uh, any kind of dice. Uh, gaming dice are just as good if you can't get casino dice. Just keep working at it. That's all you need to, that's all you need to remember. Keep working at it.